Hello there fellows, I hope you're doing good, I hope you had a great festive season and I hope you got into this uh, new year well, happy and I wish you a happy new year and welcome me back, I mean I'm back, I've been gone for quite some time, life has been throwing me lemons after lemons after lemons but then we are back and we are back with a few changes. So I've realized that last year I gave myself a bit of too much work to do. So I've decided that this year we're going to be reducing that work. So instead of me uploading on a Monday and a Friday, I'm only going to be uploading on Wednesdays. So the work that I've been uploading on Monday and the work that I've been uploading on Friday will now only be uploaded on Wednesdays. What I'm going to do is I'll be alternating between the Monday videos and the Friday videos. So it will be an actual science video one week and then a video of me just doing my stuff the other week. So yeah, without further ado, without further ado, <laughs> let's get into today's video. of you many of you do actuarial sciences because you've heard or you've seen on the internet that actuarial science is one of the top paying jobs blah 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 basically you studying actuarial science and you want to become an actuary because of the money so now we go today we're going to be analyzing is the money really worth the stress and the stress and everything else that you have to go through to become an actuary like is it really too much money for you to say i'm gonna be studying actuarial science because of the money so we're going to be looking into categories or types of jobs that one can do with an actuarial science degree uh i don't have plenty i have about two four six two four six i have only about six jobs that i'm going to be looking at and i'll be looking at the minimum amount that you can start earning with no experience no uh, exemptions I think or just a few exemptions and to 10 plus or whatever experience you might have like the maximum amount that you can earn so I've got I got this information from the Asaba website and I will leave in the link below for you to just go and double check it yourself and see it for yourself and really think about whether it is worthy of you to study actual science because of the money right so this these not this these salaries vary depending on like i said exemptions experience how long you've been working if you're putting in the work stuff like that mainly uh what can i say similarly to like other careers you know you can just get in as a fresher and expect to and the same salary as someone who's been in the industry for 10 years it doesn't make sense right you need the experience to earn like a certain amount of money so this also these salaries also vary from one company to another so you might find that the minimum salaries that i have here are not the minimum salaries at old mutual or at invest tech or at liberty but then they're just like standard minimum amounts so the first one on the list is junior actual analyst now this one can earn a minimum of 202,000 two, two annually. Now let's calculate how much that is monthly. So it's 202,000 annually. You divide that by 12 and then it's 16. <laughs> yeah, 16,000 eight hundred and thirty three rents so that's how much you'll be making per month as a junior actual analyst that's the minimum amount so now let's look at the maximum amount the maximum amount is thirty six thousand so now I still ask do you think the stress the pressure the anxiety everything is really worth 16,000 rent a month is it moving on 
The second one is data scientist. So the minimum amount a data scientist can make annually is 203,000. So we divide this by 12. That is also 16,916 rents. And then the maximum amount that they can make is 781,000. Oh no. <laughs> Whee! It's 781,000 thousands annually which is 65,000 rents but the question is how long would it take for you to move from the 16,000 rents to end up at the 65,000 rents how long again I ask is the stress really worth it now we move on actuarial analysts they make a minimum of 288,000 annually, which is 24,000 rand a month. And then the maximum can be 602,000 annually. 50,000 rand a month. Mind you, I'm rounding down those values. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see my calculator, but I'm rounding down those values. So I'm giving you like the minimum, minimum amount. So yeah. Then we move on to quantitative analyst. They make they can make a minimum of 334,000 3, annually, which is basically around about um, 28, no, 27,000 rents per month. And then the maximum that they can make is around 692,000, which is 57,000 rents a month. Good people, my question still stands. Is it really worth the stress, the anxiety, the depression, every other thing for you to do actuarial science? Basically because it pays a lot. Like is 58,000 rent a lot for you or is 16,000 rent a lot for you? That's a question only you can answer. So now we move on to actuary. An actuary make a minimum of 343,000 rent annually. That's the minimum amount that they can make, which is basically 28,000 rand a month. And then the maximum that they can make is a million rand annually. So a million rand annually is basically rand around. Ooh, what do they say? <laughs> what do they say? It's basically around 83, right around. I think that's the word that I'm looking for. 83,000 rand annually. So, uh, Yes, that's a lot of money, but then think of tax. I mean, the higher the amount goes, the more you're being taxed. So, when you're earning 83,000 rands, how much tax will the government take and how much will you be left with? Think, people, think. The last one is senior actual analyst, 349,000. Minimum amount that they can make annually, which is 29,000 rands a month. And then the maximum amount they can make annually is 666,000 rents, which is 55,500 rents. Guys, I gave you the digits. I broke down some of the type of jobs that one can do with the actual science degree and the minimum and maximum amount that they can earn. My question to each and every one of you who their only reason of studying actual science is the money is do you think the money that I just gave to you right now I know it's just an estimation and I know it varies from company to company but do you really think that it is enough for you to go through everything that you are going to be going through until you earn the title of being an actuary okay guys so when uh, what's this when editing this video I realized that this might come across as discouraging to someone who wants to do actual science that's not the main point of the video the main point of this video is for you to like really look into yourself and look at deep into yourself because I have been through that that I want to do actual science because of the money but it's not worth it guys you need to find an alternative reason besides just the money 
you need to have something else besides just the money so it's not meant to discourage you it's meant to help you find more reason for you to do actual science this is the money really worth it this question goes to people whose only reason to doing actual science is the money also would you still consider doing actual science if the money was way too low than what i've just given you food for thought thought food uh is it food Th <laughs> it's food for thought yes i think it's food for thought food for thought something to think about so when you get into this actual science or in this field don't do it because of the money find an alternative reason find an additional reason don't let it just be money 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 that you reach money no i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and do comment in the comment section about the questions that you might have about anything that you want to know any video that you want me to do and until next time stay safe and stay blessed Mwah.